Connectors are the machine functions that occur after and inside objects. They include tie-off, trim, jump stitches and tie-in. The tie-off is a stitch pattern that occurs when an object is completed. It includes multiple stitches and a choice of three patterns. In some machines at least, it is also a signal to make two revolutions of the bobbin to make a tie-off knot. The trim function activates a knife on the machine to cut the bobbin and the top thread. The jump stitches are the method of moving from one object to another. And the tie-in is a series of stitches to secure the thread at the beginning of an object. The settings are found in the connectors tab in the object properties dialog. The first setting choice is after or inside an object. Let's deal with after an object first. Next, jump or run. The standard setting is to jump. That is to say the machine pantograph moves along the path from one object to another without stitch penetrations. The 7mm setting is standard and allows the machine to move smoothly along the path. I will demonstrate the special use case for a run stitch when I look at the inside settings. The other settings, trim, tie off and tie in are activated conditionally based on the selections here. Set the trim value so the machine will trim if the distance between objects is greater than your preferred distance, in this case 2mm. You can see between objects 1 and 2 where the distance is less than 2mm, there is no trim. However, between objects 2 and 3, where the distance is greater than 2mm, there is a trim, which is indicated by a small triangle. To turn the trim icon off, go to the view toolbar, where you can hide or show the functions and the connectors. This does not affect the functions, only hides them from our view. Tie off. You can choose to turn the tie offs off or always tie off. My preference and recommendation is to set the conditions to tie off if it is before a trim or a colour change, always tie off if it is the last object in the design, or if the next connector is more than a specified distance. If you choose the last option, my recommendation is to make the setting the same or less than the trim value. Notice here the tie off is happening at a distance of 1mm but the trim is not happening until the gap is more than 2mm. There are three tie off methods. One, the conventional bow tie. Two, the tatami method. And method three, where the last stitch is inside the edge of the object. The length and number refer to the length and number of stitches in the tie-off. I normally set my tie-off length at 1mm and the number of stitches at 2. Test this to see what suits you and your machine. Be careful not to create too many stitches in the tie-off or you will create a lumpy back to the embroidery. The inside setting. This applies to lettering. The word away is a single object, as you can see in the colour object list. So inside object deals with the spaces between letters. From here on in, the settings are the same as after an object. With the exception that it is valid to use a run type. The idea is that with the correct stitch length and letter spacing, the run stitch will pull down into the fabric and not be so obvious. A word of warning, if you use the run type in lettering objects that contain more than one word, then the run will appear between the words. The best option here would be to break the words apart, 
so that they are individual objects and the after object settings will apply between the words and the inside setting will only apply to each word. The possible downside is you now have multiple baselines. I hope this has helped. Thanks for watching.